today's video is to look at how a user would go about creating a binder from a template. Uh, so to do this, we would go to PDF Docs and launch the application. And then we are going to select a new binder project from a template. Uh, so the templates will be stored uh, either locally or on your server and all the users that need to create binders will have access to these templates that have been created for your organization, your most commonly created binders. So we've got a few here and today I am going to create a family court template. So I just need to select the template that I want, give it a name, and then click create project. What will happen then is it will load up the template. So we can see here, let's just full screen this. We can see here that the template already has the folders uh, for the different sections that I require within the binder. It already has the cover page there for me. So all I really need to do now is add the files uh, and attachments that I need to have within this binder. I need to edit the cover page, uh, maybe rename anything that might not have a particularly court bundle friendly uh, um, file name and then make the binder. So let's just go through and do that now. So first off, I'm going to edit the cover page. So I do this by going view edit and then it will open that page up as we can see it's a Word document. So it will open up in Word for us to edit. So here we can go through and we can add the specific details for the binder that I'm working on. So I'll just add in these here and go client one. And there we go. So we've added the details that we need in here and now I can just close this and save and that will automatically update the cover page for when we create this particular binder project. The default won't be amended that's on the server, that will stay the same. So now I just need to add the files uh, that I want. So again, this can work with any DMS uh, that we integrate with. So I manage net documents, etc. And we can pull files in locally um, as well. So if I just go to iManage here, and I'm just going to select uh, some files that we're looking for here. So this is the correct matter that I'm interested in. These are all the finished files. So I can just select the ones I'm interested in, click open, and that'll bring them all through. So now I've got the files here in my binder project. I now just need to put them in the right folders. So we can go through and we can put these exactly where they need to be. So if I go to mark those into section A there. Now, one of the interesting things to note here is that I just moved that email there, but I hadn't selected that attachment. That's because this email has an attachment, as we can see if we just expand, of a balance sheet image. They are linked together, so they won't get uh, lost and put in the wrong folders, etc. Um, so it's easy, quick and easy to just maintain where everything needs to be. So let's just go through and move the other files to the other folders here. So put a few in there and find these last couple of folders. Put that into that folder there. And finally, this one here. So there we go. So now we can see on the left here uh, in the hierarchy uh, uh, pane that I have all the files where I need to have them. I can, if I need to, I can go into them. I can actually reorder things after I've moved them around. So I can put them in whichever order I need to. And I can also rename anything. So for example, I've got this cover sheet page here. That's not going to be what this is called in this folder. So I can just go to rename and call it whatever I need to. So now I've got the files in the right place. I've got the cover page done. Uh, I'm ready to make the binder. Um, if I wanted to just double check anything that uh, was make sure it was the right uh, version of a document or anything like that, I can use this preview pane as well to have a quick look. So let's go ahead and make the binder now. So I want to make a single PDF binder with an index type link table of contents and I want to save it locally. So they're all fine for the settings. I click OK and what's going to happen now is I have to convert all of those different file types to PDF because I'm going to insert them into one single PDF. So I've got PDF, I have Word documents, I've got Excel, 
Uh, I've got emails and the email attachments, which are images in this case. So I've got to convert all of those and then it will store those within the project folder. So any subsequent versions uh, of this binder that I create, it'll all run much faster because it doesn't have to do that initial conversion again. So we can see that that's done there. Then it's going to apply any numbering sets like page numbers and folder names and things like that to the individual pages, any bookmarks, put together the table of contents with all the links. And then finally, it's going to convert all of that and put it into that PDF and then open it up for us. And there we are. So if we just full screen this here, so we've opened it up uh, in Adobe Reader here, just so we can see that, you know, no matter which application you use, it's going to open up and look exactly as we needed. So we can see here, we've got our cover page and we have the correct case numbers and uh, applicants, etc. All the right details are there. And we can then go using the bookmarks pane here to the table of contents. And we can see here that we've got all the documents in the right order that we needed. We've also got all the right pagination and uh, for this uh, family court bundle is very specific pagination around for each folder section that they have to have a numbering a1 a2 a3 etc but then when we go through to the next folder section section b the page number and restart so we've got you know rather than have to create that uh, manually every time it's all done automatically by the template so then we can use this and we can go to any of the files that we need to so if i for example go to any file here, click on that, open it up. So that was an email there. So we can see that emails, when we bring them in, they will get printed with the header of the information that's in there. So it's all nice and easy for us to see. We can also see the other documents. We see the uh, headers and the numbering that we have there, and it's all included. So that is a very quick guide about how to go about creating a binder using a template. I uh, hope that was useful. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm.